Hello everyone, welcome to the virtual quiz. My name is John Edwards, I'm your host today. And thanks to everyone that tuned in on Sunday to our inaugural live stream. I know it's a little bit difficult, I do apologize, but uh, hopefully you'll find this one a little bit easier. Uh, it went really well, but uh, sorry, I was going a little bit quick and uh, the questions were a little bit tricky. So hopefully you'll find this one uh, a little bit easier. We'll be live streaming every uh, Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. If you wanna get involved in the stream, all you gotta do is go over to our Facebook page uh, like that. We're gonna try and get um, some family members in on the stream as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, pop over to our Facebook page, follow the uh, page. The uh, link is just down below. Uh, and it, we're also uh, live streaming on uh, YouTube as well. So uh, you can get us on uh, all those channels. Okay, format for today. All you've got to do is a pen and paper. It's really straightforward. Um, I know you can Google things, but it kind of takes away the fun. Uh, play at home, uh, along at, at home on Zoom or with the rest of the family. Uh, and hopefully this will uh, grow into something that, uh, that you can use. Uh, 50 questions today, so 10 uh, questions in each section. We have got a picture round as well. Uh, I was going a little bit quick last time, so I'm gonna allow 35 seconds for each question, uh, and then uh, we'll move along. So if that's a little bit slow, or you find it a little bit slow, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm always open to as much feedback as you can give me. Hope you're all doing well in these uh, weird times, uh, and uh, finding some new hobbies and new connections, and. Uh, Hope that everything and all your family are safe and well, or as well as can be. Anyway, right, let's get into the quiz. Like I say, the first round is uh, general knowledge. So um, I'll just pull that up. And uh, now, again, let me know uh, in the comments below how you find it, uh, what scores you got. I'm really interested to see uh, how things are. So as I say, 35 seconds uh, in between each question. Uh, if that's too slow for you or you find a bit of a struggle, let me know. Okay, right, let's get straight into it. At the end of quest, uh, round three, we'll, I'll go through the answers and you can tot, tot all that up. Uh, and then obviously at the end of the uh, round five, I'll do the uh, final uh, answers for you. Right, so question number one, this is general knowledge. So here we go. What was the name of the first ever Soviet satellite launched on October the 4th, 1957? What was the name of the first ever Soviet satellite launched on October the 4th, 1957? And it sent a signal down to Earth as well, which was picked up. And that was pretty much the start of the space race between Russia and the USA. Question number two, in which city would you find the Brandenburg Gate? In which city would you find the Brandenburg Gate? Question number three, what is the name of the CEO and founder of Amazon? I think he's probably the world's richest man now, or he was. He keeps falling off that title, I think, but um, I'm sure you're all using Amazon at the moment. What is the name of the CEO and founder of Amazon? Question number four, where were the first Olympic Games held? Probably take an educated guess at that one if you don't know. Where were the first Olympic Games held? Question number five, what country voted to remain out of the new European Union when it was formed? They also remain neutral in the Second World War. 
What country voted to remain out of the new European Union when it formed? Question number six. Who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? Who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? Question number seven. Which US sandwich shop originally went by the name Pete's Super Submarines? Which US sandwich shop originally went by the name Pete's Super Submarines? Question number eight. What country had to give up ruling Korea after World War II? What country had to give up ruling Korea after World War II? Question number nine, one for the ladies here. Prada sold their stake in Gucci to what fashion company? If you don't know that, you could probably have a pretty good guess. Prada sold their stake in Gucci to what fashion company? And question number 10, final question. High blood pressure is also known as what medically? I don't know if many people have got high blood pressure with what's going on at the moment, but I hope not. I hope it hasn't caused it. High blood pressure is also known as what? Okay, I'll just uh, recap those questions for you. So, which satellite was uh, named the first ever Soviet satellite launched in uh, on October the 4th, 1957? Question one. Uh, question number two, in which city would you find the Brandenburg Gate? Question number three, what is the name of the CEO and founder of Amazon? Question number four, where were the first Olympic Games held? Number five, what country voted to remain out of the European Union when it was formed? Number six, who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? Question number seven, which US sandwich shop originally went by the name Pete's Super Submarines? Question number eight, which country had to give up ruling Korea after World War II? Question number nine, Prada sold their stake in Gucci to what fashion company? And question number 10, high blood pressure can be known as what by its medical term? Okay, it's the end of uh, round one. Hopefully you didn't find that too tricky. Again, just let us know in the comments down below uh, how you found it, I'm interested to know. Uh, we'll move on to uh, round two. So round two is quotes from films. So some fairly classic uh, ones here. I'm sure you're all watching a load of films at the moment. If you've got any good recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. I'm certainly getting through Amazon Prime and uh, Netflix at the moment, as I'm sure you are. But uh, any recommendations that you've got, be uh, warmly received. Okay. 
Right, uh, you had me at hello. Fairly classic one, this. You had me at hello. Brilliant film. Also had some other classic uh, quotes in it as well, which maybe I'll chuck in at a later date, but. Question number two, I feel the need, the need for speed. Again, another classic film. I think a remake was due to come out fairly soon. I don't know if it's this year, but if you've seen the new trailer, it looks pretty good. I feel the need, the need for speed. Question number three, I love the sm smell of napalm in the morning. Another classic film. I've heard that said quite a few times as well. I'm sure you have. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Question number four, you can't, you can't handle the truth. All absolute classic films. Pretty highly charged film as well, that one. Question number four is you can't handle the truth. Question number five, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. I don't think it ended very well for them. <laughs> as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Doesn't sound quite right with my accent, does it? But. <laughs> Question number six, people are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Question number seven, build it and they will come. I think the actual one's he will come, but build it and they will come. Question number eight, I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Brilliant film. Watched it again fairly recently. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Question number nine, that'll do pig, that'll do. I'm pretty sure you'll get that one. Question number nine, that'll do pig, that'll do.
Question number 10, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Another classic. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Again, I can't do the accent. Okay, we'll do a quick review of the questions for you. So it is, you had me at hello. Question number two, I feel the need, the need for speed. Question number three, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Question number four, you can't handle the truth. Question number five, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Question number six, people are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Question number seven, build it and they will come. I think it might be he will come. I might have got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure if you know the film, you know what I'm talking about. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Question number nine, that'll do pig, that'll do. And question number 10, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Good, how did you get on in that round? I hope that wasn't too tricky for you. Might be a few that you didn't know or you do know, do know or you maybe got a 10 out of 10 as a freebie on me. But uh, let me know in the comments below how you found uh, how you found that uh, one. That was quite good fun. And if uh, gets, I'll probably put some more of them uh, in as well. Right, so on to round three. At the end of this round, I'll do a, um, we'll do the answers. Uh, this is travel and geography. Okay, question number one. In Norway, a fjord is made up largely of what? <coughs> Excuse me. In Norway, a fjord is made up largely of what? Question number two, Okinawa is a volcano in what country? Again, you probably guessed that one, if you don't know exactly. You could probably take a fairly good educated guess on that. Okinawa is a volcano in which country? Question number three, what is the largest airline in the world currently? Pretty much all grounded, that's my business. Um, not for the airline, but uh, yeah, everybody in aviation at the moment is pretty much grounded or on the ground, so nobody's really too sure what's gonna happen. Because certainly when everything picks up again, nobody's gonna be rushing away on holiday and you're all finding different ways of working, so not so many business trips. But what is the largest airline in the world currently? Again, you could probably take a fairly good educated guess on that if you don't know it. Question number four, still on the aviation theme or train. Which European airport has a three-letter code AGP? Now, if you're from the UK, you've probably been on here on holiday. It's a pretty popular ho holiday destination for us in the uh, UK. So again, you probably take an educated guess, but it's not obvious, is it? It's one of those ones you either know or don't know, or you probably remember it being strange on your bag tag. Which European airport has the three-letter code AGP? Question five, Mount Everest is in which mountain range? Question five, Mount Everest is in which mountain range? Mm. 
many people die there every year trying to get up, uh, ascend that. It's actually the descent they die on. Question number six, what's the official language of the Canadian province of Quebec? And apparently if you go there, you try and speak English, some, a lot of people don't actually speak English, so it's kind of strange. What is the official language of the Canadian province, Quebec? Question seven, Sicily is the largest island in which sea? Also, has a lot of, uh, well, there used to be a lot of mafia down there. Sicily is the largest island in which sea? It's a beautiful island, I've been in there quite a few times. Certainly plenty of hiding places up in the hills, which is where they all ended up going back in the heyday. <clears throat> Question eight, what is the main dialect of Chinese spoken in Hong Kong by the majority of the locals? What is the main dialect of Chinese spoken in Hong Kong by the majority of the locals? Certainly quite a lot going on in Hong Kong prior to this, wasn't there? Question number nine, what is the capital city of Cuba? I don't know if you've ever been there to Cuba, but it's beautiful, but it's something like it's like it's still in the 1950s, all the cars and everything. What is the capital city of Cuba? It's also a rum, not Bacardi. Question 10, how many engines does a Boeing 747 have? I'm sure you might have probably gone on your holidays on one. I'm sure you counted the engines, but probably a lot of them are going to go out of service at the end of this, I think. But certainly not many of them flying around at the moment, unfortunately. How many engines does a Boeing 747 have? Great, we'll just do a quick recap of the questions then. So in Norway, a fjord is made up largely of what? Question number one. Question number two. In Okinawa, is a volcano in which country? Question number three. What is the largest airline in the world currently? Question number four. Which European airport has the three-letter code AGP? Question number five, Mount Everest is in which mountain range? Question number six, what's the official language of the Canadian province, Quebec? Question number seven, Sicily is the largest island in which sea? Question number eight, what is the main dialect of Chinese spoken uh, in Hong Kong by the majority of the locals? Question number nine, what is the capital of Cuba? And question number 10, how many engines does a Boeing 747 have? Great, I hope you didn't find that too difficult, or at least you got uh, got a few answers right there. What we'll do now is we'll go uh, back to round one and we'll go through the answers up to round three, and uh, then we'll move on to the picture round now. So if you want to uh, either swap sheets if you're in the same uh, household, or if you're just playing by yourself for fun, then obviously, Get ready to uh, answer these right. So let's just bring up number one. So what was the satellite, that was uh, sorry, what was the name of the first ever satellite launched in on October 4th, 1957, Sputnik? It started the space race. Question number two, in which city would you find the Brandenburg Gate? That is Berlin. Germany, obviously. 
Question number three, what's the name of the CEO and founder of uh, Amazon? It's Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, sorry. Jeff, not, I'm sure that he won't be watching or care. Question number four, where were the first Olympic Games held? Athens in Greece. Question number five, what country voted to remain out of the European Union when it was first formed? And they're still out of the EU, like we are going to be soon. Uh, that is Switzerland. Question number six, who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? That was Amelia Earhart. She was a pioneer of uh, female women's aviation, but disappeared. And I don't think she was ever found, unfortunately. Question number seven, which US sandwich shop originally went by the name Pete's Super Submarines? It was Subway, a world-renowned franchise now. Just like McDonald's is all closed at the moment, so if you like submarines, or you like Subway, you're not getting in at the moment, are you? Uh, question number eight, what country had to give up ruling Korea after World War II? That was Japan. Question number nine, Prada sold their stake in Gucci to what fashion company? I'm sure you probably could have guessed, it's Louis Vuitton. And question number 10, high blood pressure is also known as what? It's hypertension. I hope you haven't got that at the moment as a result of what's going on. So that's all the uh, answers to round one. How did you go on? Hope that wasn't too tricky. Again, let me know in the comments below uh, how you found that so I can gauge uh, it for um, the next quiz. And like I say, we'll be live streaming every uh, Monday, sorry, every Wednesday and uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. Okay, on to round number two. Let's just put up the answers. So quotes from films, I think this is all fairly straightforward. You shouldn't have had too many issues with uh, this, I hope. So you had me at hello. What did you get? Jerry Maguire. Great film with Tom Cruise. Uh, really, really enjoyed that one. And Re Renee Zellweger. I, th I don't know if she did, that was what she did before she did um, the other ones. I've forgotten the name of it now, but anyway. Question number two, I feel the need, need for speed. Another Tom Cruise film, Top Gun. Absolute classic. And like I say, Top Gun 2 is coming out. I, I don't know if it's uh, next year now, but uh, certainly everyone's looking forward to that. I remember uh, that was what made me want to get into aviation, seeing that film when I was a young lad. Uh, question number three. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. That was Apocalypse Now, one of the uh, opening scenes. Absolutely brilliant film. I, th I think a lot of people say it encapsulate what, what war was like, rather like Saving Private Lion, Ryan. Question number four, you can't handle the truth. That's from A Few Good Men. Again, another Tom Cruise film. It's a bit of a theme here, isn't there? Uh, Jack Nicholson said that in a pretty highly charged scene. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. That was Goodfellas. Ray Liotta said that. Obviously, it didn't all end very well for them, did it? Question number six, people always are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. That's Fight Club. Ed Norton and... Uh, Name is just escaping me. Question number seven, build it and they will come. That was Field of Dreams, with Kevin Costner. Again, another great film. Question number eight, I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner by that Silence of the Lambs. Brilliant film. And there were quite a few sequels afterwards, but I didn't think he was going to get out, but he did. Absolutely fantastic film. So question number nine, that'll do, Pig, that'll do. I'm sure you got that one, that was Babe. And question number 10, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off, the Italian job. Brilliant, how did you get on in that one? I hope you got most of them, if not all of them. But uh, yeah, some classic films. So there's a few film ideas there if you're stuck uh, for things to watch. And uh, by all means, put in your Netflix or Amazon Prime recommendations because uh, I'm trying to trawl through at the moment. I've pretty much watched everything that's been recommended, uh, but uh, starting to run out of things to watch. So, But I'm doing this and I really, really enjoy it. So I hope you are as uh, as well. So round number three. So that's travel and geography. So in what... Uh, so in Norway, a fjord is made up largely of what? It's water. Question number two, Okinawa is a volcano in what country? Again, you've probably taken an educated guess this if you didn't know it. Uh, it's Japan. What is the largest airline in the world currently? That is American Airlines. 
franchise agreement with British Airways. Both not flying at the moment, or not flying very much, unfortunately. Question number four, which European airport has a three letter code AGP? That's Malaga. I'm sure you've probably been there on holiday. It's kind of a strange one. Something to do with a town that's nearby, apparently. Question number five, Mount Everest is in which mountain range? That's in the Himalayas. Question six, what is the official language of the Canadian province of Quebec? It's French. And like I say, if you go to some towns in Quebec and try and speak English, they don't speak it. Question seven, Sicily is the largest island in which sea? That's the Mediterranean Sea. Question number eight, what is the main dialect of Chinese spoken in Hong Kong by the majority of the locals? That's Cantonese. Question nine, what is the capital city of Cuba? It's Havana, it's Havana Club Rum. And question number 10, how many engines does a Boeing 747 have? It is four. So how did you get on there? I hope that was uh, not too tricky. Let me know what your scores are down below. Um, next round is a picture round. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it up for 40 seconds for each picture, just to give you a chance. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. I don't think it should tax you too much. Um, but uh, again, let me know the difficulty level and if you wanna see uh, more things like that. We can't stream music and stuff like that, unfortunately, because YouTube will jump down our, uh, jump down our throats uh, for copyright issues, um, but pictures are pretty much okay. Cool, right, let's uh, get into this. Like I said, I'll leave it up for 40 seconds. I'll give a brief description about what it is uh, or who they are. Uh, and again, let me know uh, how you get on. So who is this famous British actor? A famous British actor. Got a series or a new series on uh, Amazon Prime at the moment, which is absolutely brilliant. If you were into what he uh, was on before, which I was, I grew up watching that. Secret fan. Who's this Australian actor? Who is this Australian actor? That's question number two. Who is this Australian actor? So which London landmark is this? Question number three. Which London landmark is this? Question number four, what uh, building is this named in the US? It's a U building in the US. Very, very famous. building is this in the US? Question number four. Question number five, what's this building? It's recently changed its name because its title sponsor didn't sponsor anymore. So I'll take either of the, uh, or if you want to decide between 
yourselves. Uh, it was previously known by a different name, but it's been renamed now, so I'll take either. Who's this British actress? In Coronation Street, Dr. Foster, etc. Brilliant actress. I think she's only a year older than I am. Who's this British actress? Jensen Button won the Formula One World uh, Championship, driving for this team in this car. What's the name of the Formula One team that this uh, car and he was a part of? Not in business anymore, but it was kind of a hodgepodge of a team which is the right place at the right time, the right designers and won the Formula One World Championship. What car or Formula One team? Sorry, what's the Formula One team that this car is for? What's this musical instrument? Making a bit of a comeback now, this one. A lot of people learning to play it. In fact, have you started to learn an instrument while you've been uh, locked down? I think a lot of people are going for the guitar. Hopefully not the drums if you live with people. What is this musical instrument? Who's this uh, famous British actress and screenwriter? She's in character on the right and looking very dashing on the left. If you've seen the show, I'm sure you'll know her screen name, but do you know her? real name. Doesn't talk anything like she does on the show. Who is this British actress and screenwriter? And finally, question number 10. What's the name of this church, London church? What's the name of this London church? Very, very famous. There's a song about it as well. If you're struggling. Brilliant, how did you get on there? I hope that wasn't too tricky. Um, and you got a few questions right there. We'll move on to uh, round number five then. Round five is Science and nature. Hope you're doing okay so far. Pop your scores down uh, and let us know how you get on at the end so I can uh, have an idea of whether we've got the difficulty level uh, about right this time around because it's very, very difficult because I don't want to make it too easy but by the same token I don't want to make it too hard and I think uh, the stream that we had on Sunday was far too hard. Um, some people said it was okay but still enjoyable but uh, be great to see as many of you as we can on Sunday and Wednesdays uh, get involved in the stream. Right, so question number one. In the film 2001 Space Odyssey, what is the name of the talking computer? In the film 2001 Space Odyssey, what is the name of the talking computer? 
ended up going haywire and uh, killing the guys on board. But if you actually read about it, it was just it was following logic. In the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, what is the name of the talking computer? Question number two, which is the world's largest ocean? Question two, which is the world's largest ocean? So it's pretty much between one of two, I'm sure, thinking now. Question three, what are the grassland of Northern America called? The vast open grassland in Northern America, what's it called? Question number three. Question four, who discovered penicillin in 1928? It wasn't so much a discovery more than, more than he stumbled on it, apparently. But obviously went on to uh, save millions of lives. Question four, who discovered penicillin in 1928? Question five, Edwin Land invented what kind of camera in 1947? Question five, Edwin Land invented what kind of camera in 1947? Question six, a machine for altering the voltage of alternating current is called what? I'm sure you've got quite a few in your house, you're plugging in your laptop or indeed your iPhone. It turns AC into DC for batteries, etc., etc. But what's that called? So question six, a machine for alternating the voltage of alternating current is called what? Question number seven, which disease is transmitted by a tick bite? Pretty nasty actually, because you can't, there's no cure for it. You'll end up with it for the rest of your life. And certainly if you enjoy going out in the countryside, they're around all over the place. Dogs get them uh, quite a lot as well, which is why you gotta be quite cautious. So which disease is transmitted by a tick bite? Question eight, what does a phlebotomist specialize in? What does a phlebotomist, phlebotomist specialize in? Question nine, who patented the first successful revolver in 1835? No prizes for guessing he's American. But it basically revolutionized things because you didn't need to reload the gun with a uh, whole pack. You could fire more than one round at a time.
Who patented the first successful revolver in 1835? Question 9. Question 10. The Suez Canal was opened in 1869. Which seas did it link? The Suez Canal was opened in 1869. Which seas did it link? Brilliant, so I just realized I haven't given you uh, the rundown or a repeat of um, the picture round. So I'll just bring up the um, them now. So you, if you, there's one you're unsure on, uh, you can um, have a look. So this is question one, who's this famous actor? Question two, who's this f famous Australian actor? Question three, what's this historic London landmark? Question four, what's this uh, iconic US building? Another iconic US building for question number five. Question number six, who's this famous British actress? Question number seven, what's this Formula One racing team? Question number eight, sorry, what is this musical instrument? Question number nine, who's this famous British actress and screenwriter? And question number 10, what is this London church called? Okay, so we'll give you the uh, answers to uh, round number four and round number five, and you can see uh, how you fared for that one. So we just pull up the answers. Picture, pictures, okay. So who was this uh, famous British actor? Patrick Stewart. star of uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation, I think that's what he's most famous for. Obviously uh, huge in the theatre as well. So who's this famous Australian actor? It's Hugh Jackman. He was in Wolverine. Many other films, but probably best known for uh, his role as Wolverine in the X-Men. A great actor. He was in The Greatest Showman as well, which I haven't actually seen. I'm told it's very good. Where's this famous London landmark? That's the Tower of London. Now a popular tourist attraction. Again, that's closed at the moment. What's this famous London, uh, famous US building? That's the Rockefeller Center. What is this uh, tower called? It's the Sears Tower or the Willis Tower. I'll take either, either answer. It's recently changed to the uh, Willis Tower. That's in Chicago in the windy, windy city. Who 
who is this famous British actress? That is Saran Jones. Like I say, star of Dr. Foster, she's in Coronation Street, quite a few other things as well, but brilliant actress. Dr. Foster's certainly worth, worth a watch as well, I think it's on Netflix. Really enjoyed that one, on a recommendation from somewhere else. So who is this Formula One team? Did you get it? If you're a Formula One fan, you'll know this, no problem at all, but uh, it is the Braun F1 team. Ross Braun started it uh, in a bit of a panic, I think. I managed to get some uh, fairly key names in. Jensen was one of them, and he went on to win the uh, Formula One World Championship uh, with that team. Good, what musical instrument is this? Did you get it? It's not a guitar. It is a ukulele, making a bit of a comeback at the moment, actually. Here's some people, or some videos online of people doing some pretty cool rifts with their ukulele. I think there's only a few chords. Anyway. Who's this uh, famous actress and screenwriter? That's Ruth Jones. And Gavin and Stacey with uh, Simon Corden. Actually doesn't speak with the Welsh accent at all when, when she speaks normally. But brilliant character. And the Christmas special was really good as well if you watched that. Certainly left that open for another one, haven't they? And this one we might have found quite tricky, but again, it's probably one you'll either know or you don't know. Like I say, there's a song that's named after it. That's St. Clement Danes. So oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clement. So it's a famous London church. There's loads of churches in London, obviously, but uh, that was pretty famous. Good, how did you get on with that one? Hope it wasn't too tricky. Uh, you got a few uh, there. Again, let me know how you found it uh, once you get into the comments or the section uh, later on uh, below. So now we move on to the answers for round number five, and then you can top them all up and see how you did against everybody. So question number one, in the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, what is the name of the talking computer that went berserk? It was HAL. What is the world's largest ocean? Well, it's between one of two, isn't it? It's either the Atlantic or the Pacific. It was the Pacific, or it is the Pacific, sorry. What are the grasslands of Northern America called? They're called the prairies or the prairie. Who discovered penicillin in 1928? That was Alexander Fleming. Like I say, he found it actually by accident, but uh, obviously went on to um, be the huge success. Well, save millions and millions of lives bit worrying that uh, we're becoming quite resistant to penicillin now especially in the current climate but not that it's any help for this is it good uh edwin land invented what type of camera in 1947 you probably have taken a guess at this if you didn't know it, it was a polaroid camera slightly defunct now aren't they with iphones and everything you don't see many people with an actual slr now it's certainly not film it's been kodak's downfall unfortunately so nobody's buying film anymore and they haven't really managed to pivot the company but still, it's a Polaroid camera. Question number six. A machine for altering the voltage of alternating current is called what? It's called a transformer or a transformer rectifier, but it's known as a transformer. So the little black box that you plug in from the mains into your laptop, that is the transformer. It turns alternating current into direct current. And an inverter to, turns it the, way, the other way around. DC back to AC, if you're interested. Question seven, which disease is transmitted by a tick bite? It is Lyme's disease, very nasty. Uh, there's various levels of debilitation, but uh, it can stay with you for the rest of your, well, it will stay with you for the rest of your life. A friend of mine got it and knocked him absolutely for six. Mountain bikers get it quite frequently, a lot of dog walkers and things like that, wet bracken um, when you're walking through there. So uh, always worth checking uh, your legs 
uh, if you have been out in um, walking in amongst sort of dense undergrowth, etc. And don't just pull them out because um, if they leave the teeth in there, it can be pretty nasty. Question number eight, uh, eight, what does a phlebotomist specialize in? Drawing blood. I'm sure it's not something you never look forward to going to see the phlebotomist, uh, but drawing blood. Most people's phobia is of uh, needles, isn't it? Uh, so they're not somebody that everybody loves going to see, a little bit like the dentist, but a phlebotomist specializes in drawing blood. Question number nine, who patented the first successful revolver in 1835? It was Samuel Colt. Colt 45, etc., etc. It's still in business today, but uh, revolutionized warfare because it meant uh, you could fire more than one round at a time and certainly led to the downfall of the... Um, indigenous Indians or the American Indians because uh, they didn't really have an answer to the Americans firing um, more than one round at a time. And question number 10, the Suez Canal was opened in 1869. Which seas did it link? It was the Red Sea and the Mediterranean, major shipping route now. So that is it. Uh, how did you go on? Hope it wasn't too bad. Um, I hope we've created a good quiz there for you. Um, hopefully a little bit easier than the one that we had on Sunday. Um, again, let me know in the comments down below how you found it. Um, obviously, we're trying to get this at the right level. I'll be uploading other videos like this uh, later on in the week. So uh, keep your eye on the YouTube channel. So if you hit the like button as well, um, that'd be great if you did enjoy it. It really means a lot. That's a, that'd be your currency to me just to say thanks very much. If you didn't, hit the dislike, but let me know why you didn't like it, etc. Anything that we can do to, uh, to improve it. If you hit the subscribe button on uh, YouTube, uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, and you'll be notified. If you want to be notified, hit the bell icon as well. Uh, and then every time we upload a video, you'll be uh, you'll be notified. Like I said, it'd be lovely to see you in the live streams, uh, Wednesday at eight and Sundays at eight. And also if you go over to our Facebook page, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash the virtual quiz. Uh, if you follow the page there, I'll be uh, selecting a family at random uh, to be, or family or an individual or a couple, it doesn't make any difference to join in on the live stream quiz so we can have you playing along and get you involved uh, in there as well. If you come in on the live stream, I'll get as many of you as I can uh, up on the screen uh, if you interact. So all you gotta do is just uh, make a comment or let me know how you're getting on and we'll bring you uh, up on the screen. In the meantime, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, letting me into your living rooms for uh, this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was entertaining for you. And as I say, do let me know if there's anything that I can do to, uh, to make it better. In the meantime, I'll see you on the next stream, hopefully, uh, or on the next upload. Um, I'll be putting the schedule uh, online on the Facebook page there. So thanks very much. Have a great rest of your evening or day or whatever, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope lockdown's not too, uh, not too stressful for you and that you are keeping up with your families or speaking to your families through all this uh, new methods of communication we're having to find. I'll see you next time and uh, thank you very much.